Yes, uh, I think uh, the results of the elections to the Israeli Knesset, the parliament held on the 1st of November, uh, are very momentous. And uh, I think they herald uh, what is probably going to be a crisis uh, that will go beyond the uh, confines of Israel-Palestine. I think uh, they may well spill over, uh, and I will explain why. I think uh, we are heading for a crisis. I, I, my talk will be divided into uh, two parts. Uh, first, I will survey the uh, results of the elections, uh, focus on uh, a few of the uh, figures and parties that uh, uh, are involved. Uh, as I've been living out of the country for uh, many years now, uh, I may need the help of uh, uh, people who are more sort of closer to, to the realities. Uh, I see here a comrade from, uh, who is living in Israel, and a close comrade of mine, and uh, she, she may uh, uh, chip in and, and add some information which I may, may uh, probably miss. Uh, okay, well, uh, the, uh, re the uh, results, uh, I, I mean, the, the, the title of this talk is, is somewhat misleading. It is about the, the, uh, the strange return of, of Netanyahu, which I, by the way, predicted, I think in, in one of my last talks in, in this forum, I say don't, you know, or, or in, in articles that I've, I've written, I say, you know, don't write him off, he'll, he'll be back. Um, but it's not, it's not really uh, about him. Um, as I, I will try to uh, make clear. So what, what are the uh, uh, results? Um, the, the, uh, the coalition that is going to form the government is made up of uh, four components of which one is uh, further subdivided into three components. This is a, a complication of Israeli uh, electoral system, whereby uh, uh, the elections are strictly proportional, except that, I mean, you, you vote for a list of candidates and the seats are, are allocated according to proportion, strict proportionality with one exception that, uh, uh, there is a threshold, uh, a, a list of candidates that uh, gets less than three and a quarter percent of the valid votes doesn't get any seats and its votes are simply discarded. Um, that is an incentive for very small parties to form blocks and to run together on a, a, a single list. Uh, and the, the uh, main winner, not numerically, but politically in these elections, which is the, the block of uh, religious Zionism is actually a block of uh, three uh, parties, which after the elections uh, split back into their component parts, but uh, without having formed this block, one of the uh, three parties would probably not get any seats at all. Um, and having formed the bloc, this actually added to their uh, uh, votes. It normally, uh, larger uh, parties attract even more, but when, when uh, factions unite or form, form blocs and run together, this actually adds normally to their uh, vote. This is a well-known phenomenon. 
uh, voters like sort of major uh, 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 parties uh, uh, rather than uh, risk their uh, votes on uh, very tiny uh, small parties. So uh, this uh, main political winner of the uh, elections is uh, the bloc called uh, religious Zionism, the, the bloc of religious Zionism. I will uh, come back to uh, describe what, what these people are like. Uh, the coalition, the government coalition that is going to uh, be formed is composed of these uh, who have won 14 seats in the Knesset. The Knesset has altogether 120 seats. They have won 14 seats. Obviously, in order to form a, a government, you need a, a majority of at least uh, 61 seats, but the, the present government, the present coalition that is going to form the government has actually got uh, more than that, a comfortable majority, fairly comfortable majority of 64 seats. Um, the the uh, biggest block and the biggest uh, uh, altogether in the Knesset is the Likud party led by Benjamin Netanyahu, which got 32 seats, uh, then followed by religious Zionism uh, that got uh, 14 seats, and then uh, two uh, orthodox uh, religious parties, um, or sometimes described as ultra-Orthodox, which are traditional um, partners of the Likud. Uh, they, they've been uh, in coalitions led by the Likud for many years. Uh, one is Shas, which uh, uh, appeals mainly to Mizrahi religious Jews, uh, that is to say, uh, uh, people who, who originated from Muslim, mainly Muslim countries, um, got 11 seats. And uh, uh, the second Orthodox party, mainly Ashkenazi uh, uh, Jews, um, got seven seats. By the way, these two Orthodox parties are the only Jewish parties in the Knesset which do not officially have commitment to Zionism in their platform, in their programs. Uh, traditionally, Orthodox Jews were not so keen on Zionism. Uh, for reasons that I may go into, it's not, it's not important uh, at the moment. Uh, however, uh, because of the uh, general shift of Jewish public opinion in Israel towards more extreme Zionism, these two uh, Orthodox parties that were traditionally not so keen on Zionism have become more sort of uh, 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 sympathetic to Zionism, especially because their younger voters uh, are uh, uh, leading in this direction. Okay, so what is the, the uh, um, composition of this block of uh, uh, religious Zionism that got 14 uh, votes? By the way, uh, if you look at it, because uh, the government coalition is going to be made up of four parties or four blocks. Uh, if you look at the actual numerical size of each block, you will see that each of these blocks is essential for the continuation of the majority. In other words, if any one of the four blocks defects from the coalition, 
then the coalition no longer has a majority in parliament. This, in, in traditional game theoretic uh, bargaining theory, this means that in a situation where uh, each uh, component of a coalition can threaten to bring it down by, by defecting, uh, it gives virtually equal bargaining power to each of the uh, four uh, blocks. Uh, now, uh, I will uh, actually uh, qualify this, but basically the starting point is that each of these partners has a, an a extremely strong bargaining position vis-a-vis -vis Netanyahu. I'll come back to, to uh, his very delicate position in this, but who are these uh, 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 three components of religious Zionism? First of all, there is the main component, uh, which holds seven out of the 14 seats of religious Zionism, led by Bezalel Smotrich. Um, Bezalel Smotrich has been described by an Israeli historian, by the way, historian, uh, uh, specializing in, in genocide and the Holocaust as the Israeli lawmaker heralding genocide against Palestinians. Please, I, I, I will repeat this. He has been described by an Israeli historian specializing in genocide as, quote, the Israeli lawmaker heralding genocide against Palestinians. Uh, I can give you a reference to this. And in fact, I've quoted it in a, a, a previous article that I published years ago. Um, he's a, 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 an avowed enemy of human rights organization. He has recently uh, made a speech in which he proposed fighting human rights organizations uh, 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 active in Israel by various means, including legal, uh, uh, lawsuits and uh, um, security uh, measures. In other words, threatening uh, uh, security, uh, strong arm uh, measures against them, um, and uh, as well as as well as uh, uh, using. Uh, financial means, in other words, starting and taking away their ability to, to raise funds, etc., so that they will not be able to operate. Uh, so uh, it is more or less clear that this guy is going to uh, serve in the, the cabinet about to be formed. Um, uh, and be given control of the civil administration in the occupied territory. Now, civil administration sounds uh, uh, more, let us say, uh, uh, vegetarian than it really is. It is, in fact, uh, an, uh, an arm of the Israeli military occupation of uh, the West Bank. It is that branch which deals with uh, uh, political civilian matters rather than uh, 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 use, of, use of force. In other words, when there is a, a police uh, 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 affair, uh, in other words, you need, you need to exert uh, force against uh, uh, people in the occupied territories, uh, then this is done directly by the army. But when it is a question of uh, uh, civilian matters, in other words, matters of land ownership, matters of uh, uh, deciding whether a, 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 a given piece of land should be uh, 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 robbed from its Palestinian uh, owners and so on, this is a matter for the civilian administration. So, uh, in other words, uh, Bezalel Smotrich, the uh, uh, enemy of civil rights, 
will be assigned the role of, as it were, ruler over all civilian matters in the occupied territories. In other words, he will be in charge of the authority that, that uh, 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 runs the apartheid regime in the occupied territories. That is like uh, appointing a wolf to be the chief shepherd. I, I, I would uh, uh, compare it uh, to uh, a wolf being appointed uh, as chief shepherd or as a, a fox being appointed as a guardian of the chicken coop. Okay, so this guy is going to, to hold this position in the, in the uh, cabinet and uh, his, his faction of uh, uh, religious Zionism has got seven seats. Next comes the the uh, uh, second faction in uh, uh, religious Zionism, uh, which is called Otzma Yehudit, translated as uh, Jewish power, but power in the sense of strength. Otzma is, is the Hebrew word for uh, power in the sense of a strong arm or, se uh, uh, or uh, strength. Uh, Whereas uh, Bezalel Smotrich, who, to whom I referred just a, a moment earlier, is a smooth talker, uh, he, he says extreme things, but in, in a fairly uh, a quiet uh, and uh, superficially set, a polite voice, uh, the leader of uh, Jewish power, Otsmai Yehudi, is uh, Itamar Ben Gvir, who is a, a ra crude rabble rouser, demagogue, who you'll find in every uh, 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 pogrom led by, uh, 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 organized by uh, thugs in uh, uh, various parts of Israel and occupied territories, uh, shouting, uh, waving uh, his, his uh, uh, pistol, and uh, um, Edging, you know, uh, uh, um, the rubble rousing and 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 uh, calling on on the the uh, thugs to go further and further. Um, this guy uh, is a follower of the racist terrorist Rabbi Meir Kahana. Uh, I, I'm calling him a, a terrorist. He, he has been so officially described in Israel itself. Uh, when he was alive and led a, 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 a party, the party was, was banned because it was described as uh, supporting terrorism. Um, ben Gvir was one of his followers. Um, he was also a follower of another character in the same movement, uh, Mayor Kahana, who was a mass murderer. He uh, murdered uh, dozens of uh, uh, worshippers in the Ibrahimi mosque in, in uh, uh, Hebron. Uh, in fact, this guy was considered until uh, recently so extreme and unacceptable that he was not actually induced to in the Israeli army. The, the army refused to uh, um, uh, accept him as a recruit because, in, as, uh, I mean, the, the uh, military service is compulsory for, at least for Jews in Israel, but the army disqualified him on, on grounds of extremism. Well, now this guy, uh, is going to, uh, and this is now uh, officially decided, he is going to be a, a head of the Ministry of National Security, formerly uh, uh, known as Internal Security. The change of, of uh, name is significant. I, I, I'm trying very hard to find a, 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 a a, a, a British analog to this kind of appointment, but I, I'm I'm helpless. I can't I, I can't really find anything. Well, well, uh, consider it. Suppose uh, 
Tommy Robinson, the head of the English Defense League, uh, would get uh, uh, control over all police forces in, in Britain, but control not, in, not only political control, but also uh, operational control. He would be able to tell each uh, police force exactly what to do. Well, this is, uh, 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 imagine this, the powers that have been given to Itamar Ben-Gvir, the, the former terrorist, as it were, um, are 10 times uh, 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 more important than this. So if you can imagine Tommy Robinson as heading all police forces in Britain and multiply 10 times, then you get something approaching the powers that are, are going to be given to this guy. And as part of his powers, he's going to control the border guards. Now, the Israeli border guard is a military formation. It is within Israel itself, within the, the, the uh, territories held by Israel before 1967, the um, border guards are operating under police supervision. They are affiliated to the normal police. They are, in fact, a military formation which are uh, uh, under the control of the police. So he is going to get control over this. Until now, in the occupied territories, in the, in the West Bank, the border guard was operating under the supervision of the army, not the police. The Israeli civilian police does not have any uh, uh, powers in the occupied territories. It's only in, in the, within the this former green, green line, which has been, by the way, obliterated. Uh, but now, uh, instead of uh, the border police in the uh, West Bank being under the control of the army, it's going to be under the control of the Ministry of uh, National Security headed by Itamar ben -Gir. Okay, so this guy is going to, his, his faction of uh, religious Zionism is going to have six seats in the uh, new coalition government. This leaves one seat, you see, the, the 14. So seven goes to Bezalel Smotrich, the, the genocide there. Uh, uh, six goes to Ben Gvir. Uh, this leaves one seat. One seat goes to a faction uh, known as Noam. Noam translates as pleasantness. Well, how pleasant is this? The uh, uh, a party is led at the moment by uh, Avi Avigdor Maoz. Their uh, platform uh, stresses family values and normalcy. You have to be, you know, we support normal uh, family life, uh, uh, which translates as anti-feminism and homophobia and anti-LGBT. Uh, 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 Victor Laos was not the, the uh, founder of the party, the founder and still the, the spiritual uh, 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 leader of the party, a spiritual uh, uh, guide of this party, is a person, uh, a rabbi called Svi Tau. Uh, now, uh, this year, the Israeli police opened uh, an investigation against Svi Tau on uh, uh, accusations of sexual assault, uh, a, a, a woman has complained that he had uh, repeatedly assaulted her the first time 30 years ago when she was still a minor. So he is now under police investigation. This is a spiritual leader of the uh, Noam party. Now, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, these 
this faction, although it has only uh, uh, 14 seats in the, in the uh, coalition, has uh, in fact much greater uh, bargaining power than uh, the, uh, fig the, the arithmetical figures uh, indicate. Uh, that is because uh, Netanyahu is in fact a captive uh, of his partners. He needs them much more than they need him. He needs them because uh, uh, he uh, needs to be uh, uh, given immunity or some, some kind of uh, get out of jail card uh, in relation to the uh, uh, trials in which he's standing on, on uh, uh, counts of pro uh, 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 corruption, uh, uh, abuse of power, and and and, and so on. Um, in the, the whole uh, se series of five elections in 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 uh, less than four years that Israel has been going going through was caused by uh, uh, Netanyahu's uh, uh, need to get. Uh, uh, get out of jail card uh, uh, in relation to the, the, the trials on which, in which he is, is, stand, is standing accused. Uh, in fact, it is well known that the leaders of religious Zionism despise uh, Netanyahu. They think he's much too soft. He certainly uh, um, less uh, extreme in his, uh, uh, let's just say, relation to Zionism and colonization than they are. Uh, he's a softy and he's finding himself uh, in an unusual position as the most moderate member of a coalition led by him. So far in governments that he has led, he was uh, able to play uh, uh, people uh, softer than him against people harder than him in relation to uh, annexation, uh, 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 apartheid uh, policies, and so on. In fact, Benjamin Netanyahu is, is uh, 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 quite a cautious politician, contrary to what, you know, uh, I, of course, everything is relative. Uh, in relative terms, he's been less uh, prone to uh, apply force uh, to take extreme measures. But it is known that, that uh, Smotrich and Ben Gvir despise him and would uh, be very uh, uh, happy to get rid of him if possible. In other words, um, they have got uh, 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 also a, pr a prospect if the, this government falls uh, it, for one reason or another, and a, a new election uh, uh, is formed, that, that they have a, an expectation of actually strengthening their uh, 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 political uh, representation at the expense of some Likud voters. Okay, well, this is the, this is the coalition. Let me go uh, very quickly through the main parties or the, uh, enumerate the parties that are now going to be in opposition. The main opposition party is Yeshatid, uh, led by uh, Lapid, Yair Lapid. Uh, it got 24 seats out of 120 in the Knesset. Uh, and uh, this is a, a party that appeals uh, mostly to middle-class Israeli Jews. Uh, it is uh, uh, committed to Zionism like all uh, Jewish parties except the, the ultra-Orthodox. Um, yes, Atid means there is a future. It is a bland name, completely meaningless, uh, and this actually uh, tells you a lot about the kind of the kind of ideas pervaded by by uh, uh, this party. I mean, it's it, it's 
it's uh, uh, pure pure uh, uh, slogans um, which are meant to appeal to uh, uh, I hesitate to say liberal Israelis because I mean in in in, in uh, absolute terms I mean they are uh, uh, extremely far to the right but in Israeli terms they are considered quote unquote liberal uh, that's that's 24 seats. Uh, the next uh, uh, in, in line in the opposition are, uh, again, the name is, is absolutely mean, meaningless, National Unity Party. Yeah. Names of, of this kind indicate the kind of, the kind of uh, uh, shallowness and superficiality of the politics. This is led by uh, Benny Gantz, uh, 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 a former general who uh, uh, prided himself on killing a lot of Arabs as when he was uh, in, in charge of the Israeli army. Um, it appeals to more or less the same, the same kind of, uh, in class terms, the same kind of, of uh, 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 people voters as Yeshati except it slightly more to the right. Next is Israel Bitenu. Israel is our home with six seats. Um, this is a right-wing party, which is however uh, anti-clericalist. It is a uh, uh, right wing in, in terms of uh, uh, apartheid uh, policies, in terms of uh, annexationism, in terms of applying force against uh, Palestinians, but it is um, not keen on, on religion. And for why? Because the, the main uh, constituency, the main people who vote for, for uh, uh, this party which is uh, uh, led by a, a, a person called uh, Avigdor Lieberman, are uh, immigrants from the former Soviet Union, many of whom are not strictly speaking Jews. Uh, they, are, uh, uh, they arrived in Israel as part of the uh, 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 provisions of the law of return, which allows um, Jewish people to immigrate to Israel without any restriction, bringing with them uh, spouses, uh, children and grandchildren. Now, many of these spouses, uh, uh, children and grandchildren of Jews who are allowed to immigrate to Israel were allowed from the former Soviet Union are themselves not Jewish. Uh, mixed marriages were quite common in the former Soviet Union. So uh, obviously uh, 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 these people are not very happy with the uh, 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 domination of religion in uh, uh, the uh, Israeli government. By the way, it is uh, to the leader of this party, Avigdor Lieberman, uh, uh, that we have to thank for the uh, original fall of the uh, uh, Netanyahu government, which led to this series of five elections. Uh, he he uh, had a probably a personal grudge against Netanyahu, probably also against Mrs. Netanyahu. Uh, and uh, he defected from a coalition uh, that Netanyahu led uh, for, for or so years ago and caused uh, uh, the whole series of elections until uh, finally Netanyahu made it. Now, the next and last three factions in the Knesset are quite interesting. So Israel became uh, this, this uh, 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 party that I've just spoken to has six seats. The next uh, two 
blocks have five each. The first of these is a, a, an Islamic party. It is, uh, it is led by uh, 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 Mansour Abbas, uh, who um, is a, a follower of uh, uh, the Muslim Brothers. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, was quite happy to serve in the previous government uh, led by uh, Zionist parties uh, in exchange for some uh, economic uh, uh, benefits for his constituency. Next, also with five seats, is a block led by the Communist Party. Uh, it is mainly uh, supported by uh, Arab voters, but it has also one, one of the five uh, uh, delegates of this party in the Knesset is a, a Jewish Israeli, a member of the, the Israeli Communist Party. In fact, uh, the, the, uh, this, this uh, block of five seats uh, includes uh, one uh, representative of a minor faction led uh, by a, a, a Palestinian called Tahmat Tibi, who is a, a, a sort of, a, well, it's very hard to define this politics. It's mainly sort of a, a, a personal, personal uh, adherence of his, are, are uh, the main voters. Anyway, and the last and least of the factions in the Knesset with four seats is the Israeli Labour Party. Formerly, the <laughs> great uh, uh, power of in, in, in Israel, which led uh, all governments until the uh, uh, turn in 1977, and uh, uh, one or two governments after, but has declined out of recognition. It is now a minor party. Uh, please notice the Israeli Labour Party has fewer seats than the bloc led by the Communist Party. So that gives you a measure of the decline of a socialist, so-called so -called socialist or left wing Zionist. The, the smaller, uh, slightly more leftist uh, uh, party merits uh, didn't qualify for any seats at all. It got less uh, 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 than the threshold needed for uh, see, the minimum number of seats that a party can get according to this threshold is four seats. Okay, well, this is, this, this is the survey of the result. Now, what is the actual situation in, on the ground? On the ground, we have, uh, uh, we have had for quite some time a dialectic of oppression and resistance. Those of you who are on my mailing list may, may realize how horrible things are uh, uh, in the daily life of uh, uh, the population, uh, Palestinian population, especially in the uh, occupied territories, but also inside Israel. Um, the, there is a, a, a series of almost daily, certainly almost certainly weekly, uh, pogroms taking place in the in the occupied territories in the town, such as mainly in in uh, 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 Hebron, uh, you have gangs of uh, religious hoodlums um, going through uh, 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 town towns, villages, uh, townships, uh, destroying properties, uh, attacking. Uh, 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 residents, crashing homes, um, and uh, um, I mean this this something that, that goes on uh, on on a daily basis. On the country, in the countryside, in in smaller villages, uh, there are the uh, hoodlums uh, known as hill youths, uh, typically uh, teenagers or or uh, uh, young men in their early 20s 
uh, invading uh, fields, olive groves, um, attacking uh, Palestinian shepherds, uh, coming with with uh, some with fire, uh, firearms, but mainly with uh, uh, clubs, uh, uh, and uh, perpetrating pogroms uh, in 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 the in the open country. Uh, when in in a town or in in the countryside, the attack Palestinians calls the the police, which is mainly the border guard. Uh, the, uh, these uh, guardians of uh, uh, legality uh, come and say, ah, we see that there is an altercation. There is a, a fracas here. There are two sides here quarreling. So we, we had come to separate uh, the, the uh, two parties. And invariably, they take the side of the attackers. Uh, they uh, force uh, if it's a Palestinian shepherd who has been attacked or a Palestinian uh, farmer who has been attacked by these hoodlums, uh, they they force the the victim to leave at best. Sometimes, quite often, they actually uh, arrest the victim and and charge the victim with assault on the uh, perpetrators. This is quite uh, uh, typically going on. Um, in Palestinian major towns such as Nablus and Jenin in the northern part of the West Bank, you have uh, uh, Israeli forces, military forces uh, in incurring, uh, invading the, uh, these towns on, on a regular basis, looking for suspects. Suspects of what? Of course, what is happening is a dialectic of oppression, oppression and resistance. In response to uh, these attacks that I've been describing, the uh, level of Palestinian resistance has escalated uh, uh, more or less regularly in, in the last uh, 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 months and years, in fact. Reading the main, uh, uh, mainstream press, you hear regularly when a Jew is attacked in Israel or in the occupied territories, when there's a Jewish victim, you don't hear about the regular pogroms to which these attacks are a response or a, 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 a way of revenging. Of course, there is a dialectic. The more the more uh, repression there is, the more resistance. But this resistance now there is something uh, new about it in the last uh, uh, period or so. Um, let let me say roughly a couple of years. Uh, it is not a resistance mainly organized by known Palestinian uh, groups like, uh, certainly like Fatah or, or, or uh, Hamas. It is a grassroots organization of uh, young uh, men, uh, usually, who organize on an ad, ad hoc basis. And, and these young men may be supporters of different Palestinian organizations politically. They come together operationally, simply because they've had it up to here. Uh, the life has become unbearable. And uh, they give vent to their uh, 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 frustration and feeling of uh, no hope and op oppression by uh, taking uh, measures, sometimes against uh, uh, Israeli military uh, personnel and sometimes against Israeli civilians. The Israeli press and the Israeli public doesn't make any distinction between uh, acts aimed at uh, Israeli military personnel and Israeli civilians. Both are called murder and terror. 
That is to say, when a, a, an Israeli soldier uh, is uh, killed in the uh, uh, course of his or her military uh, activity, it is de described by the Israeli press as a murder, not as, as a, a soldier fall, falling on in, in the pursuit of duty, as it is. So uh, the Israeli Israeli public uh, does not make any distinction between a uh, 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 soldier being killed and a civilian being killed. They are called terror. The Israeli public, like the public in Britain, by the way, is mostly unaware of the operations of the Israeli uh, military in the uh, occupied territories. Uh, so. It is perceived in Israel as Israel is being attacked for no reason at all by these terrorists. Obviously, the uh, uh, response of the Israeli public is uh, we have to take uh, stricter measures. Uh, we are a subject, we are victims of terror, so we have to suppress the terror. Suppressing the terror means applying more uh, stronger more extreme repressive measures. So you, you see here a, a dialectic of escalation um, that uh, is uh, actually continuing to, to uh, uh, escalate from, from day to day, from week to week, from month to month. Uh, this doesn't seem to, especially with the appointment of uh, uh, Smotrich as the uh, uh, ruler of the West Bank and uh, Ben Gvir as responsible for uh, uh, application of force for the uh, 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 armed uh, forces in uh, both Israel and, and police forces, both in Israel and in the uh, occupied territories. Um, this this uh, is absolutely certain to escalate further. And it is uh, quite sure that it, is, it will end with a, a major uh, conflagration. Okay, well, this is, this is the, 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 the situation as it is. I want to um, spend some time now, the remaining uh, few minutes to describe the underlying historical process, because none of this is, is an accident. None of this uh, was uh, unpredicted. None of, certainly none of this is unpredictable, but it was actually predicted. Um, we cannot make sense of the past and present goings on in uh, Israel and Palestine and we cannot uh, try to project the future without reference to Zionism. Zionism is not just an empty word. The Zionist project is behind all that is going on. As, as, as I said, the great majority of Jews in Israel vote for parties that describe themselves as committed to Zionism. What is Zionism all about? It's not merely an ideology. Zionism is a project. What is the project of Zionism? The project of Zionism is colonization, quite uh, openly, and, and this is how Zionism, uh, from its foundation, described its, its goal as colonization of Palestine, the uh, land of Israel, in order to uh, achieve a Jewish state. So what is, first of all, what is, what, what is the, uh, the territory that is to be colonized? The territory that to be, co to be colonized was defined generally as Palestine uh, under the mandate given to Britain by the League of Nations uh, after the First World War. Originally, Zionism included uh, the territory between the River Jordan and the sea, plus what is now the Kingdom of Jordan. 
But from 1923, uh, Churchill, then a, a colonial secretary in the British government, separated the uh, Transjordan, the, the part west of the Jordan from the territory of Palestine and instituted it as, as an emirate uh, under the Hashemite dynasty. Z most Zionists have accepted that the territory uh, to be colonized, to be possessed by uh, Zionist colonization uh, uh, will include uh, the territory be that became after 1923, the territory of the British mandate. The exception was uh, the revisionist uh, wing of Zionism, uh, which is the, for, uh, uh, the uh, forefather of the Likud. The uh, Likud is, is uh, as it were, the continuation of revisionist Zionism, which for a long time uh, claimed also the territory east of the Jordan. That is to say, the territory to be colonized uh, was not just uh, uh, the territory between the Jordan and the, and the Mediterranean Sea, but also the territory that is now Transjordan. This claim for Transjordan has been quietly dropped uh, since then. But certainly all major Zionist parties uh, agreed that um, uh, the Zionist uh, colonization should claim that territory of Palestine under the British mandate. The aim was to found a Jewish state there. Now, what does a Jewish state mean? At the very least, it means a, a, a state with a stable and secure Jewish majority. For many of the Zionists, it means more than that. It means Jewish supremacy in the sense that non-Jewish residents of this territory will have less uh, individual rights than, than Jews. But at the very least, for uh, the uh, vast majority of Zionists, it meant a secure and stable Jewish majority. Now, this project has been unfolding since the beginning of the uh, 20th century. Certainly more intensively after the First World War. It has gone through three stages. From the beginning of Zionist colonization up to 1948-49, then from 48-49 to 1967, and the third uh, period is the, the uh, period we are living through, the post-1967 uh, uh, era. In Throughout this, this uh, uh, history, Zionism has been uh, achieving more and more success. The success that it achieved in 1948-49 war, uh, known in Israel as the War of Independence and known to the Palestinian victims as the Nakba, resulted in uh, uh, the Zionist colonization uh, keeping possession of 72, roughly 72% of the territory and through the ethnic cleansing of most of its Palestinian inhabitants, uh, uh, securing uh, uh, a fairly uh, secure, uh, in numerical terms, Jewish majority. Okay, this was the situation between 1948 and 1967. First, first phase, uh, second phase, so. Um, then came 1967. Israel uh, militarily uh, conquered the remaining part of Palestine. The question is what to do with it? Some cautious Zionists uh, advised uh, keep what we have and let's not let's not uh, uh, try to get more than we bite more than we can swallow. 
the question is, what, uh, what is Israel to do with the Palestinian uh, population of the, the territories that it conquered in 1967? Well, uh, uh, there was a, a simple answer to part of this territory, which is the, the, the Golan Heights that Israel conquered from Syria. It ethnically cleansed them. So this uh, presented no uh, problem for Israel to annex. Uh, uh, it, it did not affect the, the uh, uh, position with the, of, of Jewish majority because uh, the, most of the Palestinian, uh, uh, the Syrian actually, the Syrian Arabs were uh, uh, ethnically cleansed from the, the uh, Syrian Golan Heights. But uh, as uh, the Prime Minister of Israel in 1968 put it, what are we to do with all these Arabs? Some uh, Israeli leaders uh, uh, proposed to give back most of, of, of these territories, with, except for Jerusalem and the, and the Syrian Golan Heights, which, which were ethnically cleansed. Um, interestingly enough, among those uh, uh, advocating this caution, was uh, Ben Gurion, who was actually the, the, the uh, person in charge of the big ethnic cleansing of 1948-49. Uh, but uh, the Israel was then led by his activist disciples, uh, people like Moshe Dayan, Igal Alon, uh, who uh, years before this, and I, I quote the, their uh, 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 statements made uh, uh, years before the 1967 war. In 1964, in fact, there was a, a, a spate of, of, the, of uh, statements made by people like Diane and Alon, who were in the Israeli cabinet in 1967, said, I mean, uh, what we what we have got in nineteen in the nineteen forty eight war um, was only part of our homeland. I mean, the the, the territory that Zion, that uh, Zionism claims as the homeland of the uh, Jewish people. Uh, we need uh, to keep in mind that uh, this is only part. Obviously, when the opportunity came, the uh, temptation to uh, keep hold of these territories was too great. So this created the situation that we are faced with now. Zionism, the Zionist colonization project is in the unique position in the uh, annals of colonization, or, or let us say colonization in modern times, where the settlers, the settler uh, nation and the, the, the uh, indigenous people are more or less uh, uh, equal in numbers. If you look at, at colonization of, uh, let us say, uh, of Africa, um, well, this followed a different model of colonization with, where the, the settlers' uh, economy depended on the labor power of the uh, indigenous people, where there the colonizers were a small minority. Uh, in the second half of the 20th century, there was a whole spate of decolonization and uh, 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 these uh, settlers, basically they became sort of quasi class of exploiters were in some uh, cases expelled, in some cases they were uh, allowed to remain, but lost their uh, uh, position of uh, exclusive dominance. In places like uh, the United States, uh, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, where uh, settlers uh, did not uh, construct their political economy on the labor power of the indigenous people, but where settlers were themselves direct producers, the indigenous people were either exterminated as in Tasmania 
or uh, marginalized and uh, became a, 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 a minority in their own country. Zionist colonization followed this model of uh, not relying on uh, economically on the labor power of the indigenous people. They, uh, their uh, uh, fate was to be externalized, expelled, uh, excluded. But the uh, situation created in 1967 uh, 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 resulted in a, a numerical parity between the uh, Jewish settlers community and the Palestinian indigenous people. This is an unstable situation. And this fact is behind uh, uh, the uh, uh, phenomena that I described earlier. In fact, the Zionist colonization project is work in progress. It has not completed its aim. It is still faced with the problem of what to do with uh, uh, millions of Palestinians under its control. Uh, the, the, the situation that exists now uh, is leading to an explosion. Um, there have been plans, in fact, uh, uh, I've published uh, the uh, re reference to the Sharon plan, for example, which uh, proposed expelling, uh, ethnically cleansing uh, millions of Palestinians from the West Bank and uh, sending them over the Jordan to the to, uh, uh, Kingdom of Jordan, which will be overthrown and become, as it were, a new Palestinian state. The Palestinians can have a state of their own, but not in Palestine. That is to say, in 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 Jordan, this is this is a plan that uh, uh, exists, and uh, it is known that uh, Netanyahu uh, supported this idea, but it is not simple. It it requires. I mean, it, it cannot be done just uh, uh, out of uh, out of the blue. Um, it requires overthrowing the existing regime in Jordan, which is uh, an ally of the United States. So it, it, it will require permission from the big boss. Um, it will also be possible to, to perpetrate only in the uh, situation where there is a big conflagration in the region. It cannot be just uh, uh, done uh, any, any, you know, on, on a clear morning, uh, expelled million of Palestinians from the West Bank across the Jordan. Uh, this is not simple, uh, and uh, Israel uh, is not in in a, a position now to uh, uh, start a major war in the in the area. Not only because of uh, 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 Iran, but because uh, uh, Hezbollah is well armed with uh, uh, missiles and, and rockets that are uh, 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 aimed at, at uh, Israeli targets and can, can uh, um, cause great damage to an Israeli public, which is not used to sustaining casualty. Uh, a single, a single ineffectual rocket that falls, uh, that is shot from the Gaza Strip to a, a, a place in, in Israel and has, you know, very few, uh, uh, causes very few uh, casualties, uh, uh, creates a, a, a huge panic within Israel. Uh, Hezbollah is much more serious than uh, Hamas in terms of its uh, its uh, uh, strategy and in, in terms of its arsenal. Um, and by the way, Hezbollah is the only military force that has ever defeated the Israeli army. Let keep that in mind. Uh, in in confrontation with Hezbollah, uh, uh, Israel had to withdraw first of all in two, in the year. Uh, 2000, having occupied the south of Lebanon since 1982, 
And in a further incursion uh, into Lebanon, Israel is actually uh, uh, um, not done very well against Hezbollah. Of course, it can cause a lot of damage in Lebanon, but uh, uh, Israel, Israeli army uh, is facing uh, a serious uh, uh, enemy in, in uh, the shape of Hezbollah. So uh, uh, it, it, is not, it is not a simple matter, but I think we should uh, not uh, uh, overlook the, the project, the, the, the prospect, sorry, of a, a, a conflagration in, in the Middle East area leading to an Israeli attempt to uh, ethnically cleanse millions of Palestinians, both from Israel itself and from the uh, uh, occupied territories. By the way, the annexation of the West Bank to Israel is a fact. It is not a project, it is a fact. It is a fact, although it is unofficial. Israeli maps, uh, official maps, don't show uh, any difference between uh, what Israel held before 1967 to the West Bank. If you uh, uh, buy an uh, official Israeli map, uh, it will uh, show you under the heading Israel, a map containing Israel from before 1967, Israel, the, the West Bank and the uh, Syrian Golan Heights as part of what is called Israel. There is no line indicating uh, uh, the difference between the, so the, 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 the um, annexation is already a fact. The reason why it is only de facto annexation and not official is obviously because uh, uh, the question is, uh, you cannot annex uh, uh, the, the West Bank without deciding what to do with the Palestinian uh, uh, population which is the majority of, of inhabitants in this area. So uh, 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 my, the bottom line is uh, the, the, the prospects are rather uh, uh, worrying in terms of what is going to happen in the, in the foreseeable future in, in that part of the world. Thank you.